Here's my Dollar Tree haul coming up after this. Okay, so in Canada, we have Dollar Tree, but we also have Dollarama, and I much prefer Dollarama because it has, I don't know, it, things go up to $4, but that means that you can also get a lot more cooler, better stuff. How, like I haven't, and mostly I go for toys because I'm a toy guy. I love toys. I have a toy channel. But I never really looked around the other parts of the store. And also on my toy channel, I've been doing dioramas for like dolls and stuff for one six scale figures. And so it's kind of fun to do videos where everything I did Everything I did in this diorama is from this one store. And I had some extra time or I was in a Dollar Tree. Dollar Trees are also usually not where I live. I live in a suburb, but there aren't any that are near me. So it's usually when I'm visiting another suburb that I'll stumble upon a Dollar Tree. But they're usually really far away and far in, in between. And we don't have the great stuff, so I don't really seek them out because you can get a lot better toys in the U.S. than you can at the Dollar Trees in Canada. However, I don't really explore the rest of the store. I usually just run in and look at the toy section and run out and always am really disappointed. This time I found a lot of other stuff because I went to the other parts of the store. So, And because I also had dioramas in in mind when I was going but I found a lot of other stuff for myself too that I wanted to test out and look at let's get on with what I found okay so I found these little containers oh yeah so yeah I said that already everything at the dollarama is up to four dollars kind of like your five below but everything in at the Dollar Tree is a dollar twenty-five in Canada. Do you see how they do that? They charge us more because can the Canadian dollar isn't as good as the American dollar. So all of these things were a dollar twenty-five each. Still good. These containers, because this is what I do in my life, is I have all of these plastic containers like these filled with toys and just everything I store in plastic containers. So what's better than art imitating life than getting these containers for my figures and dolls in their dioramas and it'll just look really cool to set that stuff up. Also I saw this dish towel which is something that I've been doing uh, like this and this I think could make fantastic complimentary pillows like if you do fold it in two for this but it's also the same pattern so your pillows could be this with the border and this is such a nice bed setup that's a really cool awesome pattern I love black and white as you can see so this is a mini me room if I ever did see one those two things I had to pick those up when I saw them these uh, dish towels I didn't get to use because I don't really like color in my life I really do like to have mostly white however black white and black and chrome is basically what happens if I was really rich I probably I would have gold instead of chrome maybe real gold this is these colors though are so nice and they're so beachy that I thought I don't know maybe these can be tapestries or just bed bedding or for some kind of scene or something I just thought they looked so beachy awesome yeah and I, I just wanted I love the colors and I love how they're just rough and rudimentary and I, I just think they're beautiful so I picked those up I'm sure I will make some kind of scene with those this was an impulse buy it was like right at the cash I was as I was checking out and I thought oh man that's a pretty cool I'm really into animal prints and cave stuff recently mostly because there's new toys that are cave babies that I'm, I'm loving but so I just threw this in and I thought, I mean, it looks like, it looks like mini luggage. So yeah, why not? So I, I threw that in. Um, blocks to play with. Now this is again, my aesthetic. I love wooden blocks and I do have huge collections of wooden blocks. But just to decorate the house with, those will be awesome to have. Uh, Army men, I have walls filled with action figures and dolls. So 
Should I show you right quickly? Yeah, that's what's going on there. So why not one day fill up some shelves, which I have shelves for my toys, for my action figures and dolls, with more action figures and dolls. And I really like these muted colors. They're kind of like made with like recycled plastic and I really like that look. It's just a little more natural. It kind of looks like a vegetable dye or... I love the muted tones of those army men. So I picked up those. These little tails. I couldn't decide which color to get because I do like to make a white room. But this is what I use for garbage cans. So I actually have real human size galvanized buckets that I put that I use as trash cans so I mean when I saw those I was like these are so awesome they're like they're it's all good for mini me stuff and I saw this basket which is crazy because you can get bigger ones than this this costs the same price as a giant one however this one could be used as a laundry basket uh, yeah, I think that's probably what I'd use it for. Maybe an, a pet bed, even though it is a bit high. It would just look really nice. It's the right scale for a basket in a house. Um, here's something that I got for myself. Some socks. And I just really like these. Now, I like to wear socks with shorts in the cooler months if, when I'm wearing sneakers. and not. I usually wear flip-flops. But I like to have a big, chunky pair of wool socks on. And... I like to wear black and white and gray. They're my favorite colors to wear. And a pop of red is something that I don't mind having. And I love workwear. And they're pretty nice. And they're, they do, I tend to only get like 100% cotton and 100% wool things. Because I'm a natural fiber kind of guy. But they're like a half polyester, half cotton blend. Which I know stands up to, it's more durable that way. But I also don't know if I can walk rock Dollar Tree fashions. I don't know if I should get away with it. I already probably look more homeless than I think I do on the streets. So I probably shouldn't. But also, I could roll these up, use them as something in my dioramas. But I probably think they just look cozy. Maybe I'll just wear them around the house on a cold winter day when I want to keep my when I'm cold any day, when I just want to keep my toes clean. This silicone pot holder, I guess it's a place to put your... I should have my glasses on. Oh, should I skip to glasses so I can see? So I usually buy my glasses at uh, Dollarama too, and I've had some expensive, more expensive glasses that were prescription ones, and I only need them for reading. So the dollar store glasses usually work for me and they cost a dollar twenty five. That's at the dollar dollarama. So these ones were also the same price. Now these have the shiny, they're exactly the same frames uh that I like. I like a horn rim old fashioned fifties kind of glasses. But they're the shiny coat and I know from the Dollarama the ones that I had, the paint would ship off of the shiny ones, so I always would buy the matte ones. But this is the only style that they had in this and probably maybe they're made out of shiny plastic and it's not paint that's on them so maybe they'll be fine and also I love this natural colored uh, just glass case so I like that and it's got like this rough edge but yeah I like that it's totally my my aesthetic okay back to this thing which is a silicone pot holder so I don't know if it's to pick up pots with maybe it is Maybe it's to put it on. I thought it could make a good rug or uh, kitchen segment, it's like a kitchen floor part of the house. So I thought that would work out really well. And I like the pattern and it's like modern and nice and it would make a nice floor. And it has a little square cut out of it, but that would be no big deal. Um, these things. Now they had all kinds of these in different fruits and everything and I wanted to get all of them and I'm on I like I mean I since this COVID thing has happened I haven't I don't have a lot of income coming in and that's why you guys have to get this channel up to 1,000 subscribers so I can make more money on this channel too come on subscribe 
I hope you're subscribed. I'm fun. I'm a good guy. Uh, these, I decided just to get the citrus fruit ones, and some of them were off-centered and stuff, but I managed to find three that were really good. They're really slow-rise, squishy, awesome, cute. I mean, I like them, but I don't know. I thought they could... I just really like them anyway. I'm a huge pop art fan, and that's what that looks like to me. And I guess it's the child in me. I like black and white and clean and all natural and un unfiltered, unprocessed, um, all natural cottons and everything. But I also love toys and bright colors. So, I mean, doesn't that look awesome just with my background and then I just get these pops of color. They look so real. And I don't know, maybe I can put this in one of my diorama rooms for fun, too. With the, that, that would look really cool in someone's house. It would look like some cool artist with big pop art. Anyway, it was really smart of me just to choose the citrus fruits. And they kind of are all on the same scale. Because then they had apples and watermelon. And if they're all this size, then that doesn't really make sense anyway. I'm, I'm pleased. I'm glad that I picked those up. Here's some other toys that I got. I got these three army men. I wasn't going to get these, but I thought it would make a good video and comparing uh, different army men with other army men that I have. And they actually have really good accessories. The faces might not be the best painted, but yeah, looking at them right now, they actually are pretty good. You don't always see good quality toys, but these aren't that bad. Look at that guy. And the accessories are really nice. So it will be fun to open these. I hope I have the whole collection. I'm obsessed with getting whole collections of things. A mirror. I thought that would be great for... Here, can you see yourself? Oh, no, that's me. Um, for the dioramas, and it's got suction cups. So that... I didn't have a small mirror to put in place. It could make some really good pictures. Um, these fell out of the package. This is more of a... Uh, does it spark joy? Something like this, for me, just on its own, just, I, everything about this I like because, you know, it's a natural cotton thread and it's on a craft cardboard spool and I, it's got the three colors, is that a blue? Well, it's kind of red, blue, and yellow, even though I believe that's a black, which makes it even better. So kind of primary colors, like they're muted and yeah. Like, I don't know. I'm, I'm thinking just putting this in a little room standing up like it's a little craft section or I don't know. I just, these, these on their own, which is crazy, spark joy for me. I love them. I, I just, I love everything. I love everything about these. I just, I, I just want to display them and kick. I got mini clothes pins because that's just cute. I can hang up some clothes somewhere or hang up anything. And they're probably a little large and out of scale for one six scale, but they'll definitely work. They'll just look like oversized. Um, safe. And then they're made out of all the things that I like. They're the wood and the chrome. And yeah, they just fit the aesthetic of what I love. I got some little wood little wood things. I thought I could put them on a table as chargers or they could just be plates. I could, you know, there's so much I can do with them. Again, trees, natural, awesome, fun to decorate with. Oh, I got this for myself, not for dioramas or anything, but I'm a nerd. I don't like to have this going on in the um, winter, summertime though, because I don't want to get a tan line on the back of my neck in case I have, yeah, I can't have weird tan lines, so that wouldn't work for me. But I do like, even if I'm not going to wear it around my neck, if I'm just going to like have it hanging down, it makes the glasses more substantial so I don't lose them or I can hang them somewhere and so I can always find them because I lose and misplace and drop stuff all the time. So if it makes the glasses bigger, then that is a bonus for me. So yeah, this is nice. And it's black and I can wear it, at least inside I can wear it around my neck. I got some picket signs. You can get more like 
fancier ones than this, but I liked how these were so plain. And come on, I can put these into the hands of action figures and I can write messages on them because it's chalkboard. And they're like little ticket signs where I can just put them around the home. That's going to be good. This I got for myself because I, well, I think this is pretty self-explanatory what this is for. And so it's a soap saver. I can put my soap. I don't like putting the soap on the ledge because it makes such a mess and everything. This is so much better with the water. Well, cat. Yeah, I should have gotten a single bigger one at the first Dollar Tree that I went to. They didn't have the single big ones. And then I also am regretting they had this brown shade. But I thought that this would, the clear one would hide more. And the brown would... Clash kind of, but that was a really nice natural brown. It was like a dark brown, which could be mistaken as black. So that was probably a mistake. I probably should have got a large brown one. I guess I still can't. Dollar twenty-five. I found two of these things. Usually, when you find these easels, that they look way out of proportion because they're too thick, and they and this wood part is too thick. But this will look legitimate. And I mean, just standing up in the background, a little chalkboard to stick up in the background. These were really two fun little panels. And that is everything that I found. Unfortunately, I didn't find any shelves or anything that I could get, like a do di Dollarama. I, uh, I wanted to do a whole room. I, it doesn't look like I can do like backdrops or anything. Anyway, maybe you're not interested in that. Maybe you just wanted to see the stuff that I'm selling. If you want to see more Diorama stuff, go to the Toy Channel. There'll be a link at the end of this video. I hope you like the stuff that I found. What's the favorite thing that I found? Do you love the Dollar Tree? Do you love Dioram Dollarama if you live in Canada? I love you. I hope you'll like, comment, share, and subscribe. We'll see you next time.